Good morning, dreamers. How are you today? I hope you are well. Made it through Monday. I have heard tales of people having the most Monday Monday oh, in a long, long time. And I hope that your Tuesday is much smoother than Monday. Mm, your coffee tastes good or your tea or your hot chocolate or your bottle of water and that you have a wonderful day. I really, really hope you have a great day. Mm. There's a movie on Netflix and it's called The Grizzlies and it is the plot line is a young know-it-all teacher going up to Nunavut to teach, thinking that he will bring education to this back, I can't even say backwoods, this way out of the way place on the tundra. And um, that he will do his time and then book it back down south and um, work in a prep school the rest of his days. And yet the theme is healing. The theme is community. The theme is family. The theme is, yeah, how to deal with pain. And it is a very stark movie, um, but I believe it's one that every North American should have to watch, uh, particularly Canadians. Um, and there's one line in it that is, don't add to the long list of promises made to the Inuit that have not been kept. Because this teacher wants to, to make something happen for the students. And it's a great idea, but it has huge potential to be a broken promise. And broken promises are not, they're not the same as in a privileged area like Southwestern Ontario. Even those that are poor and needy, we're still quite privileged in Southwestern Ontario. And I'm learning, uh, it's actually through a book by Brennan Robinson about, um, Regardless of how tough your circumstances are, everyone carries privilege in some manner. And so what do we do with that privilege? And uh, that's not the only thing I'm learning from that book, but that's one thing. And these young people rise above their circumstances because somebody believed in them. But broken promises in that era, area of the country are the difference between life and death. It's an epidemic of suicide. And it's the difference between life and death. And it deals with some really tough subjects, so um, just be aware of that. But I think it's a really good film for people to watch. Um, it's based on a true story. So at the end, the, the credits show you pictures of the uh, true people And so it's just one of those things where um, Jimmy's like, oh, you like this so much, you're going to do uh, Dreamers about it. And I'm like, I might, I might. And that's what's on my mind today. I want to watch it again. It's a very heavy film. It's not something light, but it's something that says every person has something to offer the world. Everyone does. And you're valuable. And you're precious. It doesn't matter that you're tucked away on the tundra. And maybe you feel like you're in an emotional tundra right now. And the next town of emotional sanity is 1,500 kilometers away and you can't seem to get there. You're valuable. You are special. And you belong. And so how do we build community in places where there's a whole bunch of people that feel like they're the only ones that don't belong. They're being ignored, they're being hurt, their promises are being broken. And sometimes the promises we've made ourselves 
there's an epidemic of unmet expectations in the world today and that's probably because of wonderful platforms like social media allow us to put out there that you know the house the car the dog and 2.5 kids right like white picket fence dreams of the 50s are not realities for a lot of people today and yet I sit in Cambridge's best rental situation and I'm honored to be here. Yeah, it's a basement apartment. Did you not see the feasts we put on this table? We can produce something amazing in this basement apartment. But the most wonderful thing we can produce here is love. God's love. Starting at grandma's table. Using that as a diving board to have open arms. When the kids were little, I said something with them, and they can still repeat it today if I start it. And it goes like this. I call it my family motto, or mantra, or both. Kind words, gentle hands, open minds, and loving hearts. Make happy faces, and show the world Jesus. And then I would say, do it with me. Kind hands, kind words, words, gentle hands, open minds, and loving hearts, makes happy faces, and shows the world Jesus. There's days when the kind doesn't come from the mouth, and the gentle doesn't come from the hands, and the mind is trapped shut. And those are the days when the frowns come. Those are the days when mental health is taking a turn for the worst. And, you know, the clouds rain. But they don't stay there for long. If you're in a cloudy place, if you're living on the frozen tundra of emotional well-being, spend some time with a warm cup yourself but more importantly spend some time in the presence of the almighty creator he loves you it's big enough to create this world small enough to care about the people who live in it have a wonderful Tuesday Mwah. bye